Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make and modify a yo-yo from the Tinker's Construct mod. Uh, this will enable you to get two different advancements that are in the game, uh, Yo-Yo Ma and Yo-Yo Master. Um, not really hard to do, but does take a couple steps. Um, I will be referencing how to make and use multiple components from the Tinker's Construct mods. Um, if you're unfamiliar with how to make and use those uh, different um, devices and machines, I will link tutorials down in the description showing how to use the basics of the Tinker's Construct mod. Now, if you find this video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like. But most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button. That way you can see all my videos and tutorials as they come out. Okay, so first things first, we need to make a very special book. We're going to start by making Materials and You. Materials and You is going to be just a book and a blank pattern. Then we're going to take that book and add it to a string cord, which I'm going to show you how to make in a moment, to make yo-yos and you. And yo-yos and you is a book that shows you all of the important parts about how to make and use a yo-yo, going all the way for how to build them to the different modifiers and such. The last thing we're going to make is the yo-yo itself. And a yo-yo needs to have a couple different components. It needs two obsidian part bodies, one obsidian axle, and one string or one cord. So let's go ahead and, and take a look at a couple of different things here. So these are the different devices or um, mechanisms part of the Tinker's Construct. Uh, you've got the stencil table, part builder, tool station, tool forge, armor forge, pattern chest, and part chest. Uh, these are all different things uh, that are going to be needed at different points of Tinker's Construct. Again, I did cover that in a previous tutorial, which will be linked below. But we're going to start with a tool forge. So we click on the tool forge. We can see that there's a different setup here showing you different components, and then over here are the different types of tools and weapons that you can make. We want a yo-yo, which is in the bottom corner. If we click on that, it's going to show us that we need two body, one axle, and one cord. It also says that down here in the bottom right. So how do we put that together? Let's first of all take a look at our yo-yo book. So again, it says body, axle, and cord. There are different components that are needed. Now, for the body, depending on the type of material that you use, your yo-yo will get different types of skills. For example, if you look in the book here, we're looking under the first section, which is just body. If you make a body out of wood, you get an ecological perk, which is renewable resources are so good they regenerate by themselves. These are vague definitions, so each one does something different. Most of them you should be able to figure out by the name. Stone is cheapskate, doesn't really do anything, less durability than normal. If you use a flint, you get bonus damage against unarmored targets. If you use cactus, you get prickly. Nobody is safe without thorns. They do extra hurt, extra damage. Bone, hitting them more to deal more damage. And obsidian, your tools last longer most of the time. And again, there are several different ones, materials that you can use. And each one tells you what the attack damage is, the weight of the device, and its durability. Certain items have uh, different material types. will adjust that as well. Next comes the axle. Same situation. You can use, depending on the type of material that you make it from, you'll get different types of modifiers. Obsidian, for example, again, is the same. Your tool lasts longer most of the time. So if we move through that and we get to cord, there's less options for cord. But for cord, if you use night slime, natural, mine's faster and higher in level. Magma slime is fiery, blocking, uh, blocks fire damage, and getting hit sets the attacker on fire. So there are different things that you can do. String itself and slime vine don't do anything. It's just a basic, as does vines. Okay, so let's go ahead and make one. Now, you can make this using multiple different materials, as we just said. Uh, but if you go into your tool table, let's go ahead and grab some components. We're going to make it, let's see, we'll make ours out of obsidian. Grab our casts. We'll grab our string because we're going to go ahead and make just a regular string cord. So if we go into our tools. Oh, I apologize. If we go to our part builder, we need an axle. So we put our axle cast there. And you don't have to be using cast. You can just use the stencil. Either one will be fine. Put your obsidian there. You'll see that now I have an obsidian axle. We can take that off and set that down here. We go ahead and we'll go next to our body. Again. Let me make an obsidian one. Now, you can use two different types. You don't, they both don't have to be obsidian. Uh, some perks will modify 
here you can see using obsidian it tells you exactly what the perks are of that we're just going to go ahead and make two obsidian ones to make it easy and then the last component that we need is going to be our cord and with cord subsidian out of the way we're going to use string saying string in there it gives us a string cord so those are the four components we need to make ourselves a yo-yo so let's go ahead and we'll go to yo-yo now if we take those items and place them in the corresponding spot in the tool forge you'll see that we now have an obsidian yo-yo gives you its specs it's clumsy because i haven't leveled it up yet it also has uh, let's see durability attack hitting hitting uh, the shift button will give you additional components it says in main hand uh, 1.6 attack speed 5.2 attack damage same as when in offhand you can also name your yo-yo if you want i'll just call it the odg yo-yo we'll go ahead and take that now we have the odg yo-yo you can just right click to send it out and it'll actually stay out and keep smacking creatures while it's out um, very easy to do. You're going to use it the same way you do a weapon. You can left click will manually hit, right click will fire it out. Right click brings it back in again. If you just hold the right click down, it will continuously smack. And again, different perks. The more you hit it, the more it damages things. So um, there's different ways of using it. Okay, so now that we have a yo yo, that's going to give us the first advancement that we talked about today. And that's this one here yo yo ma. Craft a yo yo in the tool forge. The next one we're going to be looking at is this one here, Yo-Yo Master, to use every modifier on a yo-yo at least once. Now, it's not real specific when it describes that. You do not have to put them all on the same yo-yo. You just need to put each of the modifiers on a yo-yo. So let's see how that works. So let's go ahead and we'll take a back look into our yo-yo book real quick. See right there. And right in the first spot here, you see there's different modifiers. So after you build your yo-yo, there's uh, extension, which is again, if you use a string, which is what we did, then it's going to, if, we're, if we add a string, I apologize, onto the cord, it's going to increase the length of the cord and uh, there are multiple levels, which means you can use more than one string to level up the strength of that. There's also using a puffer fish, which is floating, makes you move faster, also has multiple levels. Shear, which is using a set of shears, which allows you to cut uh, grass and shrubs just like using a set of shears, uh, does damage or lower the damage increase. And you can only use that once. Next is farming, allows Yo-Yo to soil, uh, till the soil like a hoe, will also replant crops if seeds are dropped, and it does a slight damage increase, and you can only use that modifier once. Gluey, using one of the different slimes, not orange, but blue, green, or purple, uh, sticks to blocks, a moderate decrease in damage. Collecting, Yo-Yo picks items up. That's a hopper and a chest. You can only add it once. Lubricated, increases its duration, multiple levels. That's using an ink sack. And that's all of those. So let's go ahead and show how that works. So when you first make a Yo-Yo, we go back to that same tool forge. We set it over here in the center. It's going to let us know that we have three modifiers. Which means we can add three of those different modifiers that we just talked about onto this yo-yo. Let's go ahead and grab a couple. So we know that string was one, puffer fish was one, and shears was one. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. We're gonna go ahead and take a string, and it says multiple levels. You see eight of eight, which means you can do it eight times. I've set that on there and I've pulled that off. Now I have the advancement better with mods. That's because this is the first Tinker's uh, item I've added a modifier to. And you can see now that we scroll over it, it says, Durite, which is, or Durite, however you want to pronounce that, that's because it's made out of obsidian. And then extension is the uh, what we just added with the string. So now we're going to go ahead and put it back in the middle. We do puffer fish. That's floating. Does it again. As you can see, there are different visual effects that are changing on my yo-yo. So now we're going to go ahead and add shears. Which gives us the shear ability. There we go. We've got that again. So as you can see, I've added three different things on here beyond the base. Extension, floating, and shear. Now, there are some more advancements, but unfortunately, if we look here, because this is a new one, it only it does not give me any more modifiers. As you level up your yo-yo through combat, you will get additional modifier slots. We're not going to do that today, so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to make a second yo-yo. Same way we did the first one. that and an axle as well 
Let's go back in. Make another yo-yo. Now we have a second one. So now we can continue with modifying. There's one for a diamond hoe, slime balls, and then there's one for an ink sack. Add those. Same process as before. Throw you in the center. Got one. Now we're going to go ahead and put some slime balls on there. Got two. And we're going to go ahead and put our ink sack on there. You can see this yo yo looks very different from that yo yo. Visually, it changes based on the amount of modifiers and the type of modifiers that you add to it. Now, last but not least, we'll make one last yo yo. And two body. Then we'll make ourselves one last string. All of our components for that together. Okay, that one there, that one there, that one there, and another cord. We have a third yo yo, and then the final modifier is to add the hopper and a chest. So we'll go in there and we'll do that. Hopper, chest. There we go. You see that I just got the advancement for yo yo master. So that gives you all of the different modifiers. Now, I've spread them out over three different yo-yos, but you can level up your yo-yo to be able to put them all on one. Each yo-yo has a slightly different ability based on the modifiers that I've added to it. Um, but yo-yos can be a lot of fun, and it's a great little melee slash ranged weapon <laughs> that you can uh, carry out with you. And with all the different advancements, it can be actually a very versatile little tool. Uh, but that is all that's needed to make a yo-yo. We did cover the different types of materials that you can make it from and how to enhance it to get those two advancements. Um, now, uh, if you have any questions about this tutorial or any of my tutorials, please be sure to throw those down in the comments, as well as any recommendations or suggestions you have for other tutorials you'd like to see in Sky Factory 4. Always looking for new ideas. Uh, you can also submit a direct request via email on my website, onlydraven.com, where you'll also find links to all of my different videos, links to my different social accounts, information about just in general, and things like my streaming schedule. So it's a great resource and something I recommend checking out. All right, well, that's going to do us for this video. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Have a great day.